So let's talk about a real cool 70s flick I recently watched for the first time last month, and that would be Cooley High. Big days and entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1975 coming-of-age dramedy flick, Cooley High, released by American International, directed by Michael Schultz, starring Glenn Turman, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, let's see... And 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 lots of our Cynthia Davis, Sherman Smith, Norman Gibson, Garrett Morris, and more. Anyway, now the film follows the narrative of high school seniors and best friends Leroy Jackson, aka Preach, and Richard Morris, aka Cochise. The film was written by Eric Monte and, and was primarily shot in Chicago. Now, with its lighthearted tragic storyline, it was complemented by a soundtrack featuring many Motown hits. Now then, I'm going to try not to give the whole movie away, so in case you haven't seen it. Anyway... The story takes place in 1964 on Chicago's near north side, where we meet Preach, an aspiring playwright, and Cochise, an all city basketball champion. They're best friends who are both celebrating their final weeks of their senior year with their classmates at Edwin G. Cooley Vocational High School. I gotta say, really something. Well, with the help of another friend of theirs uh, named Pooter, they try to get out of class and have a little fun and end up causing a little bit of having fun, hitching a ride by hanging on the back of a city bus and going to the Lincoln Park Zoo where they Spend the day stealing snacks from the concession stand and antagonizing animals. I gotta tell you, this is really crazy. Um, Preach has an immediate interest to one of his classmates, Brenda, as they go to a local hangout and what have you. I gotta say, this is really. This film's really something. Really getting some real bit of a predicaments and what have you. And I'm going to say really something. It has its several twists and turns and what have you, but still provides... One heck of a story. But anyway, they do all sorts of things and what have you. Uh, let's see. Uh, having a real crazy time at the movie and what have you. Let's see. Getting, well, pretending to want countless sexual services from prostitutes? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they managed to, um, to get away from the police in a car, which that's really something. <laughs> it's, it's crazy and what have you. But I gotta tell you. From what I've seen of Cooley High, I'm going to say it's absolutely crazy in some parts. Anyway, this film did get a lot of, of good uh, reviews and what have you. And some can, and one considered this to be like um, a black version of the film American Graffiti. 
which of course I haven't seen that, but which came out two years before this, directed by George Lucas, long before he did Star Wars. But I'm going to say this was just so cool. I gotta say, this was what would really be start for a real trend in African American stuff long before even Spike Lee gave us some of his joints, like Do the Right Thing or He Got Game or any of those others that he's done. But hey, that's just my opinion. But I'm gonna say Cooley High was so awesome. Now, actually, in its its influence would will go on to do some stuff and well inspire lots of stuff and what have you. Uh, let's see. For example, yeah, um, one of them is from um, the R and B at Boys to Men. They named their debut album Cooley High Harmony. Which featured a version of one of the songs from the soundtrack to Cooley High. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. And even the film Boys in the Hood was influenced by Cooley High. So was the show What's Happening, which premiered the following year. I'll be talking about that later on this month in a TV log. I'm just going to say this was something. It was a in 2015, Cooley High was called by the NPR a classic of black cinema and a touchstone for filmmakers like John Singleton and Spike Lee. And what can I say? They're right. I like the cast performances. They were all good, but I gotta give it to the main players of Glenn Turman as Preach, and Lawrence Hilton Jacobs as Cochise. And yes, now, you may know who Lawrence Hilton Jacobs was, who later, later on that same year, a few months later, he would go on to play Freddie Boom Boom Washington on TV's Welcome Back, Cotter. Really something. Let's see here. Now, there was a plan television adaptation of this, but the pilot was poorly received. And so, henceforth, it was changed to what's happening. So that way, they went with that tile, they went out to confuse it with Cooley High. Anyway, really cool. Now, of course, the film has been released on DVD. And broadcast on the MGM HD network, which of course MGM owns American International Library. In 2016, it was reported that the CEO was developing a remake. But I don't, but it's only potential. But let's not jump to any conclusions or anything like that, okay, folks? But even so, with a great cast, great characters, Plus, lots of good music and what have you. And uh, the score from Freddie Perrin wasn't too bad either. But, I also like the setting and what have you. And, with Cooley High being a vocational high school, I gotta say, it's good. So, with all that said, everything was good. The cast, the characters, direction, music... It's saying everything. Now I'm sale. So, would I recommend Cooley High? The answer is yes. Definitely. This is a flick you gotta check out. So again, this is why I'm not going... Why I didn't want to give the whole movie away. Just in case you haven't seen it. Okay? I recently watched it on Prime last month. I don't know if it's still there. But if it is, you should check it out. But if you can find it on their streaming service... Go for it. You'll you'll absolutely love it. But if you've seen Cooley High, tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, be a part of the Big D Nation, and stay tuned as next time I will bring to you my long-awaited spoiler-free review of another coming-of-age flick, and that is Licorice Pizza. 
At least I hope it'll be it. But anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like to see me, one consider checking out my reviews for these other films of these other fun films and what have you. In the upper left hand corner is my review for another coming out of age flick, but it's, it's kind of close to being more family friendly. This is since Cooley High got a PG rating, I believe. Anyway, it's my review for Disney Star Girl from 2020. In the upper, or go to the upper right hand corner and see my review of the first Tall Girl movie from Netflix. I recently did a spoiler free review of its sequel. Or if you want another black black flick, go to the bottom left hand corner and see my review of the original Shaft from 1971. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thank you for watching. Until next time, on the Big D saying, see ya.